An overview of adult bullying. Adult bullying can be inherently toxic in all forms and environments. Adults who engage in bullying are usually more likely to do so in ways that are not physical. However, there can be cases in which physical abuse and bullying occur. When it comes to adult bullying, the perpetrators tend to fall into specific categories that can include the following. Adult bully with narcissistic traits. An adult bully with narcissistic tendencies can be self-involved to such a degree that they may ignore the needs of those around them. When a person with narcissistic traits chooses to bully other adults, they may do so because of a lack of empathy or fear of potential consequences. They generally experience self-esteem issues, which can lead to a compulsion to denigrate other people. People who truly love themselves usually do not have to hurt others to feel superior. Impulsive adult bully. This type of adult bully tends to engage in sporadic and uncontrolled bullying. Sometimes this manner of bullying can occur when the perpetrator is under stress or going through a tough time. While impulsive bullying is not typically planned or premeditated, this does not excuse it. Going through challenges in life does not generally entitle anyone to lash out at others or engage in bullying. The actions of impulsive adult bullies can be just as dangerous as adult bullies who fall into other categories. Physical adult bully. Physical adult bullies typically perpetuate bullying that involves physical contact like hitting, kicking, slapping, punching, or otherwise physically assaulting others. They may also stalk, steal from, or destroy the personal property of their targets. Some physical adult bullies may also threaten to harm their target or the people to whom their target is connected. A physical bully may experience challenges with anger management and other potential psychological concerns. Verbal adult bully. Verbal adult bullies tend to use their words to belittle people and can be considered passive aggressive. It can be important not to minimize the impacts of verbal bullying, as words can be very powerful. They can ruin reputations, careers, and self-worth. Some verbal adult bullies may spread rumors, gossip about others, and otherwise use words to hurt their targets. This type of passive-aggressive bully may fling personal insults, engage in cruel teasing, offer constant criticism, and even attack others by way of public shaming. A verbal bully is typically no less problematic than a physical one. Secondary adult bully. Secondary adult bullies can be defined as witnesses to the actions of the bully, and they generally choose to join in so they will not become the bully's next target. Many secondary adult bullies do not harbor true malice toward the person they are bullying. They most likely are afraid to speak out against the bully's behavior. However, secondary adult bullying may not be any less harmful because the perpetrator is acting out of fear. In general, adults who witness bullying should either report the incident or speak up in the moment instead of further hurting the person on the receiving end.